Welcome to another episode of Trends and Ideas. I'm your host, Isabel Sender, and our guest today is S&P Capital IQ equity analyst, William Mack, joining us from London. William believes cruise lines may experience buoyant returns this year and next. So we're very happy for joining us today, William. Glad to be here. Thank you. Thank you. Well, uh, we noticed that cruise lines have been the punchline, really, of the travel industry recently. But you think investors will actually have the last laugh? Uh, yes, I do. We're positive about the cruise industry overall, about the mid and long term. Uh, the main thing is uh, people, we think uh, cruise uh, people will return to the cruise lines uh, once the negative trends uh, from resulting from the bad publicity uh, are fade into the uh, fade into the sunset. So the cruise lines are book solid? Uh, yes, it's they're typically booked over 100%. Um, now they're uh, solidly over 100% around 103, 104% occupancy. Um, it gives them pretty good platform to raise prices, uh, which um, a lot of the price increases fall directly to the bottom line. And a big part of it, our investment thesis is uh, price increases will drive margin growth for the industry. I see. So of the cruise lines you cover then, which one would you like to highlight for us here? Well, uh, we favor the industry leader Carnival Corp, uh, partly because it is the industry leader with almost 50% of global cruise capacity, but also because we think uh, they'll be at the forefront of a recovery uh, in what we expect as industry demand over the near term. Uh, we think uh, profit growth will be greater in 2014 uh, for Carnival Corp than some of its peers, uh, mostly because the decline uh, in profits has been the widest uh, uh, versus their peers. Thank you for joining us today. We appreciate you sharing your views with us, William. And we encourage all of our subscribers to read more of William's views on marketscope.com in a related Trends and Ideas article. It's called Cruise Lines Set Sail for Higher Seas. Until next time, thanks for watching or listening. I'm Isabel Sender for S&P Capital IQ.